Hey guys, Jessica here, the Ferrari Family Coach, and in this video we are starting leash training. <laughs> we are back in our beginner dog training series, and Kim is behind me. She has a bed with like a sheet on top of it, and she's like digging at the sheet, <laughs> which is why the sheet is on the bed, because she likes to dig on her beds. Anyway, that is the noise you're hearing behind me. So we are back in our beginner dog training series and we are working in this video, we're starting leash training. So to get started with leash training, the first thing I want you to understand is that we don't start outside on the leash. We actually start inside. Now, but I am by no means saying to stop walking your dog. Do not stop walking your dog. Just understand that while you're in the training phase, while you're in the training process, you shouldn't expect the world out of your dog when you are on leash. Understand that it's something that you both are going to be working on and it's gonna take just a little bit of time, but you'll get there. So give your dog a little bit of leeway and understand that they're not gonna be perfect on leash because you haven't trained for it yet. So um, really quickly before we get into this video, if you are new here, thank you so much for being here. If you are returning to my channel, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you and every view I get here on our YouTube channel. Um, but if you look right down there at that subscribe button and it is red, go ahead and click it, turn it gray. When you turn it gray, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every single time I post a video. Also, really quickly before we do get started in this video, I do want to um, have you just take a peek really quickly at the description box. You can do it now, you can do it at the end of the video. Just don't forget, there are a few links down there that I wanna make you aware of. One is to the beginner dog training training series playlist. If you are clicking on this video and you have not continued, if you, if you have not watched from the beginning of the beginner dog training series, I highly recommend that you start from the beginning. So check out the link to the playlist and start from the beginning. Um, another link that I really want you to pay attention to is the book, My Seven Miracle Steps. There is a link down there to grab a digital copy of my book. I highly recommend this. I tr teach every single one of my in-home clients the foundations of training before we start working on anything else. And this book goes over those foundations that I teach to everyone. They are the seven miracle steps or seven canine commandments as I like to call them. And I put these in place in every home I train in before we get into any other training. The reason I do this, well, there are lots of reasons and once you read through them, you will understand. But one main reason is that a lot of times, a lot of these problem and nuisance behaviors that people contact me with that their dogs are having are completely resolved just by putting these seven miracle steps in place in their home. So they are really amazing and I highly recommend that you check out the link and get your digital copy of the book. Of course, there are a couple of other links down there. One to my online video training, which I highly recommend you check out as well. Also to my Amazon storefront. I have linked down there a bunch of really wonderful products for your pets, things that I use with my pets, and I definitely recommend you check that out as well. So let's get right into this video. We're gonna actually break up leash training into multiple videos because it needs it, because we can't jam pack everything into one video. I wish we could, but it would be super long and you'd be coming back to it over and over and over again. I wanna break this up for you so you can train along as the videos come out. As you watch the videos in the beginner dog training series, you can take this little chunk of information, you can work with it uh, with your dog and move on to the next video. So we're gonna break up leash training into a couple of different videos. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, we are breaking up leash training into, leash training actually starts inside the home. So we're going to work inside the house, then we're going to actually take it outside, like in your driveway, your front yard, your backyard, depending on where you live, if you're in an apartment, in your courtyard area, and then we'll actually take it out on and practice it in a real walk. Now, again, I am not in any way saying to stop walking your dog. In fact, you should not stop walking your dog. Just understand that while you're training, walks aren't gonna be perfect, and that's okay okay, we still wanna get those walks in. One key thing that I really want you to understand is that there is absolutely nothing natural to a dog about walking slowly attached to a person on a leash. There is nothing natural about that for your dog. It has to be trained. And 
to some degree, we have to figure out, you know, to what degree we want our dogs to be trained. In, an, in a perfect world, would we love for them to walk at our pace right by our side, looking up at us and checking in all the time? Yes, of course. But this may not be the end goal for you and your dog because every dog is different. Maybe if they're walking next to you and checking in with you every once in a while maybe maybe they go a little fast sometimes and that's okay maybe they get excited sometimes and that's okay too dogs shouldn't have to we shouldn't expect dogs to be perfect we certainly don't expect ourselves to be perfect so figure out what a good end result is for you and your dog and that's what we want to work towards so in this video we are going to talk about what we can do to start working with our dogs inside of the home but i'm also going to give you a couple of tips to get you started. So when you're on a walk and maybe your dog is pulling or just in general walking faster than you want them to be walking and not checking in with you, there are two things you can be doing. One is to ask for a look cue and reward it. Uh, always take rewards with you on your walk because walks are training opportunities. There are opportunities everywhere all the time and we need to be looking at them this way. Instead of saying that's a bad behavior, say that's an opportunity to teach my dog what I want them to do instead of what they're already doing. It's an opportunity. So make sure you're taking treats with you on your walk, uh, whatever reward your dog likes, take that with you on your walk so that you can take advantage of those opportunities on your walk to train your dog with the behavior you want to be seeing in them. So asking for the look cue is one way we can get, gain our dog's attention while on a walk. If you have a dog that pulls on lead, one of the best things you can do is turn around. So if your dog is pulling on lead, instead of grabbing and yanking, we don't want to yank the leash, right? We want to turn around in a different direction. This is going to cause your dog to have to slow down. It's what, what's really happening, one of the things that I teach uh, my in-home clients is one of the things that's really happening is that your dog is pulling towards something. And because we don't want them to be pulling, what what happens is if we change direction, and of course do this safely, don't ever change direction into oncoming traffic or into any sort of dangerous situation. Be very safe and cautious about when you are changing direction. Um, I do want to throw that in there because I don't want people to misunderstand what I'm saying, but be very cautious about what direction you are going in. Make sure you're being safe for you and your dog. But um, what happens is when we change direction, we are letting our dog know that by pulling it's not going to get them to whatever it is they're trying to get to because we're going to go in the other direction when they pull towards it right so if they if there's something they're really wanting to get to pulling is not the answer so that's what we're training in our dogs when we change direction and you may have to change direction a lot and that's okay because eventually you won't have to change direction so much Another tip that I want to give you, and this one is crucial, especially for those dogs who are very active, who have a ton of energy, and there are a lot of dog breeds that were bred to have all this energy, so it's ingrained in them for hundreds and thousands of years to have a ton of energy, and that's just the breed, and that's just your dog, and that's their gen genetic makeup, and that's okay. So especially with these really high energy dogs, we want to make sure we're giving them plenty of exercise before we actually go out on the walk, and that could be physical exercise, it could be playing fetch or frisbee in the backyard, it could also be in enrichment uh, by letting them use their brain. So maybe uh, you give them their meal, but you actually have them, you know, do some scatter feeding or uh, have them hunt for their food or do uh, different cues and use their food as reward or all of the above for their meal. That way they're using their brain and a little bit of their uh, body physically and that is getting out some of that energy that they have before you go on your walk. That is another key tip to making walks go a lot more smoothly. Okay, so before you can expect your dog to understand what you are wanting of them outside of your house, you first have to get them to understand the concept of politely walking on a leash inside of your house. There are far fewer distractions inside of your house. And I know we've talked about this a lot in the beginner dog training series, but it applies to everything. There are a lot fewer distractions inside of your home than outside of your home. So we want to really work on something inside of our home and then transition outside and continue working on it there because of all the distractions that are outside. It's going to be 
be so much easier for your dog to learn inside and then to transition that outside. So there are two key things that I really want you to be doing to work on proper leash behavior. One is ditching the ball, and we've talked about this a little bit before in the beginner dog training series, but we want to toss out their, their food you know, piece by piece and have them go get it and as soon as they turn around and look at you, you reward that and toss another piece. And what this is doing is teaching your dog to check in with you more often because you are the source of good things. So checking in with you is key in so many things. So we wanna work on that, but we also wanna actually work on having your dog walk beside you and have them walk at a slower pace than they normally would, more of your pace. And we're just gonna do this in baby steps at first. And of course, I'm gonna show you some footage here of me actually working with a client and doing this inside of their home before we walked outside of the home to do it. And we want our dog to be able to walk beside us, sit beside us, take a step, stay beside us, and check in with us. So we want to work on this inside of the house and you can do it at first without a leash and then start adding in the leash. But we do want to do this with a leash on at some point before we take it outside because adding the leash is yet another change in environment that we want our dog to get used to. So we want to be able to take quite a few steps inside of the house with our dog calmly walking next to us with a very loose leash, meaning no tension in the leash before we move outside. So I want you to work on these two things inside of your house. Make sure to get out as much energy as you can before you start this training, even inside of your house, Be especially if you have a very hyper dog. So I want you to work on this before moving outside. And the next video in this series is gonna talk about how we're gonna transition to uh, leash walking outside. Of course, we're, like I said, we're gonna go just outside maybe in your driveway your front yard your backyard your courtyard depending on where you live we're not actually going to start training on a walk yet again continue to walk your dog just understand that you should not be expecting perfect behavior on a walk yet because you haven't trained it so uh, go ahead and take your walks as normal just remember that your dog is not going to be perfect yet because you haven't trained with them yet. So work on this inside of your home and we will continue this in the next video of the beginner dog training series. Thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions about anything in the beginner dog training series up to this point, make sure you comment below. I love to be able to answer your questions and help you guys out and uh, make sure, oh, another link that I forgot to tell you about earlier in the video is a link to the group. Join the family. There are thousands of other pet parents in the group just waiting to help you out with training with your dog, be any behavior issues you're having with your dog. I'm there too to help you one-on-one -on -one if you need it. Go ahead and check the link in the description. Join the group, join the family. We're all waiting for you to join and share what's going on with you and your dog. I can't wait to see you there. Again, if you look right down there, and that subscribe button is red, go ahead and click it, turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video. Also, there's gonna be another video popping up right about here. I highly recommend you check out that video next. It is gonna help the bond with you and your dog. So thank you again for being here. Whether you're new, or whether you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.